Once you've cut your image out on the vinyl, um, you gotta weed it out. And the easiest way to weed it out is I always do a little test cut thing in the corner here. So they just cut like a triangle and a square. You take your knife or whatever tool you like to use. I use a knife. And then you just Cut the weeded area out. I mean, cut this area out, the test cut area out, so you can grab a hold of this part. And then you want to peel it. And you can be rough with it because it's not like vinyl stickers where you can be careful. It's vinyl. The heat transfer. You just want to. Weed it out like this. Just like this. And you'll see the image appearing. Wow. You take this out. And you can do any image that you want. You'll see the end product. And we're all done. See this part, you just want to This one's pretty easy to weed out because there's not really anything difficult to take out. Okay, the only thing that we have right here is the O on the inside of the A to get rid of. So the way I do that is I find that corner of the A and we just rip it out just like that easy peasy and then you get the O sorry for the table it's on a whole level on its own. Wobbly. Then I live in the state of Washington, Pacific Northwest. But we're oh, almost revealed. Gotta get that little. Because Washington, there's a W. But we're about that Wu Tang life. So we got that Washington with the Wu Tang W. We put the graphic on the shirt on the heat press now you take a ruler and it has to be three inches from the collar and it's pretty much three inches from the collar um, see what the distance is from the W to the 
this is about five and a half so you want to make sure that this end is five and a half inches away so you want to put maybe five and a half well, maybe it's a little bit lined up straight we'll be right back and we're going to show you how to press it now you did your thing you want to put it on here for 15 seconds um as you can see i don't have a whatever you call it a teflon sheet because mine is ruined so i just use construction paper and it works the same the only difference is that this stinks when it burns and I believe this is a cold peel. I believe it's a cold peel. Just, just, yep. It's a cold peel. So you just want to let this cool down. And then put it back on. Rip it off, put it back on. And then hit it again. And that's how you get that screen printing feel of a heat transfer shirt. Cold peel. It's cool to the touch. And then you peel it. right off the shirt like so and then I always hit it again I do not care what the directions say that it's okay if it's on here like this I always hit it twice and once you hit it twice you get this extra feeling and then sometimes these and then whatever like peels up while you're doing this it fixes itself so you always want to hit it twice hit that twice you get that extra I feel like I for the second press you put a t-shirt on there uh, so it's nice and flat and straight and then loosen it up just a little bit and then hit it for another 15 just to give it a nice sturdy hold into the shirt so we're gonna wait for 15 seconds and the shirt's going to be done. And that's how you make a t-shirt. Under 10 minutes. Wu-Tang. And that's when you know it's in into the garment. Is when you can see the back of the this gives it a nice look and feel like it's when that black kind of it connects with the yellow when you can see that a little bit that's okay that's when you know it's in there and we got the Wu-Tang for life